Hello people, back with another video. Um, uh, this video is just going to be in, in response to uh, Black Rampage, aka Pro Black Chris. Um, what I've done is I've taken his points here and I've put them here in my comment section and answered them so it just looks very clean. Um, so he says here, Jay I agree with you uh, uh, in regards to a video I just made defending black women. Uh, he says, Jay, I agree with you, but I don't see the connection to racial pride while you're interracially dating. Uh, now, I, I do ask him, are you suggesting that I don't speak up for black women against the crap they're dealing with unless I am currently having sex with one? Must I be having sex with my mother before I can speak up for her? And that's very true. I mean, if you look at his question there or his comment there, I don't see the connection to racial pride while you are interracially dating. Now that word while, that means uh, there's room for change. So at the moment I can be or I can stop. Uh, so he's suggesting that I should only be have any sort of pride for black people if I'm with one. But as soon as uh, I stop being... So if I'm with a black woman for, I don't know, two days... I should have pride in uh, black, the black race or black women for two days. Then once I've finished, uh, when I'm not with her anymore, I should automatically stop having pride. It's uh, one of those arguments I've heard a lot of uh, certain pro-blacks come out with, uh, which I, I can't really be bothered to go into because it's nonsensical, to be quite honest. Uh, but let's just go a bit further here. He says, I don't see the need to honour black women when they're not good enough to be with. Uh, again, who told... Uh, Chris, who told you that black women aren't good enough to be with? Did it ever occur to you that I may be with the person I'm with due to geographical um, convenience? If I'm in an area full of white people uh, and say... Say there were, I don't know, 6,000 people where I live, okay, and it's got very few black people. The only black people uh, may have been moved here, say there's six people at the most, all black, and out of those six people, there are two women. One woman's over the age of 50, I don't know, 50 something, another woman's uh, in her late 30s and not very attractive. Are you seriously suggesting that I should hold out until uh, an attractive uh, black woman who happens to also find me attractive, happens to be also financially stable, and happens to just have all the qualities I need, I should just stay single and alone until this person comes along? Or are you suggesting that I pack up from uh, where I'm working uh, for, for my, a family member with good money, my own place, I should pack up and I should move to an area just full of black women and hopefully find someone with all the qualities. So I should ignore anyone of any other race who ticks all the boxes for me and also lives uh, li lives close enough to me to be with. Is that what you're suggesting? And this is a problem with a lot of you uh, pro-black, or some pro-blacks anyway, because I don't want to put you all in the same, um, same category. Uh, a lot of black people, they live in black areas, so they they find it hard to imagine a black man with a white woman uh, because they're only around other black people. Uh, so clearly the reason why a lot of you are with other people your race is because geographical convenience. You all live around each other, hence why the, the term black on black crime. Well, it's because black people a lot of the time live around other black people. Hence why when white people, the majority of the times, a victim of white crime in a white area uh, are going to be white people and the perpetrators are going to be white. Okay, are you, do you see where I'm going with this one? Anyway, so yeah, I say to it, to his question here, I don't see the need to honour black women when they're not good enough to be with. Uh, so we've gone over the fact uh, no one says they're not good enough to be with. Uh, that's a very black and white, uh, pardon the pun, way of looking at things okay so you need to mature a bit and then you can open your horizons and see things different uh, so i say to him you do realize i have dated black women in the past and could very well date them again in the future and you do realize that as a black man i have black women in my family 
that's a very simple point. Hopefully, Chris will see it that way. If I have people who I care about are black, I don't have to be inserting my penis in them, especially when I am black myself. I don't have to be inserting my penis in a black woman to see when people constantly putting them down is a wrong thing. Anyway, we'll get to you in a moment in regards to that, actually. So we'll just uh, scroll down here. Now, the reason he says the reasoning is that black man plus black woman equals black family. So I say to him, not really, because you clearly are not 100% black, but you identify as black. If I was to have a child with a white woman, then that child would be mixed race. If that child then gets with a black partner, then they will have black children who are darker than you, uh, which is true. Uh, Chris is clearly not 100% black himself. Now, I did hear apparently he has a white mother himself. So... Anyway, read into that what you want. Now, he says, that's why you defend her. She's the only path to black life. Now, if Chris considers himself black, but he has a white mother, do you see where I'm going with that? Some of what you're saying, Chris, doesn't make any sense. Now, back to what I said earlier. If I was to have a mixed race child and that child was to get with a black person, then that would be a black family. Okay. Uh, so you need to just think a bit more before you write some of this stuff seriously now i said to him that might be why you defend black women but it's not why i do it i do it because i feel that attacking black women constantly is wrong i'm a man first and my views do not change depending on who i'm having sex with if it did then i'd be a weak man women i am with change for me and not the other way around Okay, and that's totally true. Uh, every woman I've been, um, even the the non-black uh, women that I've been with, they've all changed for me. I've opened their eyes to the, to what black people are going through, racism, that kind of thing. Uh, so they've got a deeper understanding now, and hopefully they'll pass on some of that knowledge because I was a strong man and I'm a leader. I believe that a man should be a leader. The woman should be the follower. Hence why when I see a lot of these American black men blaming black women for everything about, of the black community, I see them as weak and pathetic. I don't care how many videos you put up with and how many people are in the comment sections. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you speak a hundred of the truth uh, while they're degrading black women. I think they're full of shit and I just think they're weak and pathetic. I'm a leader, so I can only look at men like that as weak and pathetic. Uh, but anyway, let's just uh, scroll down here. Now, he's, I say he says, hopefully we can have a gentleman's debate via comment section because the video war over one simple question would be childish and counterproductive. Now, to be honest, um, I'm not looking to be productive with Chris. Uh, hence, one of the reasons being because... Uh, a, um, I've seen apparently he's uh, has phone calls with other men uh, looking for ways to uh, set other men up so that he can roast them. This is what I've seen in a lace chat in the past. So I do know that um, he's not a very productive individual. Uh, now, I've also seen him in chat rooms abusing white women, white women and men who date white women. And he's done this all the while knowing I was with a white woman. And also he does it whilst I'm in the chat rooms as well. So he obviously clearly doesn't have much respect or restraint for that matter. Uh, so I, the way I see it is don't piss on my head and then tell me it's raining. I'm not stupid. I just ignore things that I don't consider to be important. Uh, now we're going to scroll down a bit here. Uh, now I say here there won't be a debate on my beliefs. Uh, debates are for when one side wants to change or influence the other side. I do what I like and say what I like. I don't need permission from anyone and I don't feel I need to answer to anyone. I said, if you think that you have more of a right to defend black women than that, then that is what you should be doing, not questioning me on why I choose to do what is right. I have skimmed through the titles of your videos and I've not seen you defending black women, just attacking black men and attacking black women. You're coming across as one of those people who do not do anything but take offence when they see others doing something. Now, since I have been on YouTube, I've never made a video attacking a black woman. 
Not that I am saying that I wouldn't, but I have not, and you have. If you believe in half the things you come out with, you would not have a body of videos attacking only black men. I should have added uh, also attacking black women, because that's what I've seen him do. Now, you are pro-black, I'm not. You come across as a hypocrite, I do not. When I start making videos attacking black women, then maybe you can question me, but when you have videos attacking black women and you regularly roast them, then the question should be put at your door, not mine. Now we'll go back to what I'm talking about there. Let me just have a look here. So Black Rampage. Uh, so if we look at his uh, videos here, all the videos he have are only attacking black men. Oh yeah, sorry, and black women. All of these videos. So let's just have a look here. Eva. Eva. So he attacks black women as well and he has the videos to prove it. Now I hear him also on people's chat rooms, he attacks black women as well when he's got problems with them. In fact, he's probably attacks them more than he attacks white women. And he said some pretty uh, disrespectful things. Now, another point I want to make, Chris, is uh, sometimes you go over the top when you're abusing white people, white women, that kind of thing. And when you're in a sensible, um, when you're in a, a platform, like I saw you on that Andres platform and the way you were just being very disrespectful about white people in general, I've seen you do it uh, on other people's platforms as well. And I think people are more likely to listen to you when you just uh, try and be a bit more respectful and you cut out the name calling. Hence why when you say things like you want to be respectful, I don't believe you because I just see what you do. Uh, and I've seen that disrespect you've shown me by disrespecting white women. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, I know the, the uh, oh, I hate using the word, but the sector we're in, so I do appreciate uh, that that's to be expected, but when you do it uh, around me, knowing that I'm with a white lady, it's kind of, it shows how little respect you have for me, uh, or just how much you, you value your opinion so much that you don't care about anyone else's. So again, I can't let you tell me that you are you want a respectful conversation. If you had any respect, you wouldn't have left that comment in my comment sections anyway. I don't go on your comment section uh, asking you questions, because A, because I don't care, and B, because it's just not my place to do it. Now, I stay on my videos and my comment sections. Uh, I don't really abuse people in their comment sections. That's one thing I don't do. And I don't, uh, I don't know, there's just certain things you shouldn't do, Chris. And I think you know what you're doing. Uh, I don't really care, to be honest. I just thought I'd make this video and kill two birds with one stone. Anyway, that's the end of that.